five tips for professional interviews on camera. Hey everyone and welcome to Alpha Tester. My name is Lee Esposito and on this channel we focus on technology, innovation and digital lifestyle. And as part of this digital lifestyle, it's becoming more and more common to find yourself facing a camera. This could happen at work or at your sports club, whether you're an expert in a specific software, a paper plane, building record holder or the face of a new division in your company. With my media production company Rabbit Fire, I've probably shot several hundreds interviews. And for myself, it's always exciting to meet people from various life and work environments. But no matter what your social status, your bank account or your level of expertise, during an interview there are some technical and linguistic rules to produce better and more engaging content. To help you master that trade, I've put together 5 tips for professional interviews on camera. But be sure to stick around until the end because I'll reveal a bonus tip. But let's get started. Here's tip 1. Short answers. Well, there are exceptions, but in general, only very small pieces of an interview are actually used. Short, concise sentences that don't immediately blend into the next statement with an and, and please lower your voice at the end of a sentence and maintain eye contact with the interviewer. This brings us to our second tip. The second tip is eye contact. If you haven't been in an interview situation before, it can be quite exciting. Bright lights shining directly on your many unfamiliar people. One or more cameras with blinking lights, flickering monitors, so much to get distracted from. What should you focus on? Well, focus on the one asking the questions, treat it like a normal conversation, as if all the technology and all the people simply weren't there. Let's go to tip 3. Outfit. I am by no means a fashion expert. My system involves grabbing the top item in the closet. So my tip is purely technical. Avoid all black or all white outfits and nothing too patterned because of that more effect. Ideally have at least two outfits in your bag. You can never predict if a particular outfit is going to fit with the background, with the couch, the wallpaper or other people in the frame. Tip number four, rephrasing the question. Well, in most cases, only the answer is audible, not the question. Therefore, it's important to rephrase the question in some way. Incorporate the context into your response. If I'd ask you, what was the weather like yesterday? And your response is only good, then this statement doesn't really have my film. It's better to say, well, yesterday we had wonderful weather. We were sitting outside having strawberry ice cream and whipped cream. Tip number five. Homework. If you're asked to give an interview on a specific topic, prepare yourself as much as possible. What are your key points? What do you want to convey? What would you prefer not to talk about? Have your story straight. The more you know about the subject, the more confident you'll appear. Before I get to my bonus tip, you know what to do. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. But now, Here's my bonus tip. Enjoy the moment. Well, it may sound cliche, I get that, but it's the best advice I can give. Someone has asked and invited you to step in front of the camera, or well, unlike me here. So someone already believes that she'll rock it. Enjoy the excitement and the interest in you and what you have to say. If you follow my tips, especially if you've done your homework, the rest will flow naturally. And if the interview isn't being live streamed, you can always repeat the answer a second, a third or a fourth time. Well, I will repeat the call to action now. Hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode of Alpha Tester, the channel for innovation, technology and digital lifestyle.